Hello my friends, Tucker you here, and welcome back to another Kaiser Redux Hearts of Iron 4 video. The world in which Germany won World War 1, and it is absolute insanity. My friends, in this A to Z playthrough, we have been continuously playing a lot of smaller, minor nations that usually end up being a massive headache for us. But what if we were a massive headache for the entire world? That's right, in the A to Z's, we're in the C's, and that is now time for the Commune of France. I'm pretty sure that around a year ago, I think it was, I ended up doing a Kaiser Redux video when I was doing random nations and I had done them before. I can't even remember the path that I took at the time. But things have definitely changed, and they have, um, oh god, they have the option for a new reign of terror, okay. I have a feeling that no matter what path I choose, it's gonna end up being quite spicy. Essentially, what happened in France at the end of World War I in this universe is the opposite of what ended up happening in Germany. That, with the fall of the Empire, instead of the rise of fascist forces, instead was the rise of communist forces. Something that, actually, historically, very well could have actually happened within Germany. And so now we have the Commune of France with the Communard Spirit, which actually gives us some attack as well as recovery, even if it's less organization. We're stupid, I guess. And we naturally have a desire for revenge, which is going to give us more organization, more recruitable population, and more attack on our own territory, as well as bonuses against both Germany and Austria. Sir, with a fancy beard and a monocle, I don't exactly know if you're the greatest representation of communism, so to speak, but uh, you do you, bud. But before we really go into space, I would like to thank today's sponsor, Star Trek Fleet Command. Do you see what I did there? Because we're, we're going into space? Yeah, I know, don't hate me. For those who are not aware, Star Trek Fleet Command is a 4X MMO game that is set in the ever-expanding Star Trek universe. In this game, you're able to recruit legendary characters to crew iconic ships from over 50 different years of Star Trek stories and send them on missions of exploration to expand your territory. Engage players around the world in battles testing your strategic ability, negotiate alliances for greater gain, and harvest the galaxy's resources as you upgrade your fleet of starships. And with characters like Captain Kirk, Spock, or Michael Burnham, along with iconic ships such as the Enterprise. All of this is incredibly nostalgic, reaching across multiple generations for a sense of fun. And mix all that with epic battles with players, whether that is with them in the form of an alliance or against them as you are trying to take everything they own. And it's a good thing that so many features were added in January, like wave defense, because in my trip to, uh, to, to Vienna here, I experienced so many delays that I was able to actually have some fun in the hours that I was waiting on the plane. The game is free. It has cross plays. You can play on both mobile and also on PC. Honestly, there's no reason to not download it. So really, what are you waiting for? Go and click the link down in my description, download the game, and you can get some free bonuses. Enter the promo code warp speed, and you can unlock 10 epic shards of Kirk, enhancing your command instantly. Thank you, Star Trek Fleet Command, for sponsoring me, and now back Back to the video. Now see, this is actually quite nice, because in comparison to basically every kind of nation that we played in this game, we actually start with a very decent army. 65 divisions, which is very solid. We have a good industrial base from the very get-go, and many research slots and bonuses here. Like, Commune of France, despite being in a horrible position historically there, is actually remarkably strong at the beginning. To that end, focusry-wise, what exactly do we have? Let's see, communal army, all these bonuses to decide what we're going to be doing, which, oh my, <laughs> look at the artwork going in. What is all this? You got, you know, a naked lady leading an army. You got a single man who's looking kind of nice. You got a group of brawny men. And you got a bunch of uh, drunk louts, I'm sure, about to overthrow something. So you can basically choose how to specialize your army. That is fascinating. So you can go down the doctrine side and more speed. Ooh. Ooh. Speed called division speed plus 10%. Oh my god, that's actually really strong. If you go down an armor path. Army consumption bonuses. Very nice here. But that's really only 5% here along with max planning. That, that's really not all that much here all that considered except for i mean minus five percent supply is pretty decent okay see i love the idea of a base 10 percent speed bonus over here so i think i think that's what we're going to end up going down we're probably going to go and shoot down the armor path in order to be able to win we have the road to war which is all about war preparation and getting ourselves boosted up minus 15 percent factory consumer goods all nice we have education, which immediately gives me a research slot. That also, again, is huge. And I have to decide what direction to go with the economy, and I'm pretty sure that's going to affect me politically for what I would end up doing. Either orthodox syndicalism, communal industrialization, war economy, and agriculture here, or cooperatives. And that's the Jacobin. Okay, oh wait, so each one of these is different one. Syndicalist, that's Jacobin, the Sorolean, and that's the anarchist path. Okay. So yes, the fascinating thing about France is that depending upon your politics, that's actually going to determine what you're going to be able to do with your own economy. Still though, this is not very big, all things considered. I'm surprised. What what, what do I even have over on, over on the side? And so begins the revolution. Maurice Thorez is currently the leader of this focus will cancel the requirements are not met. The Jacobin regime will begin its transformation of the commune from a syndicalist state to a true commune communist state. Oh my god, that's going to give 6% recruitable population, 14% reinforcement rate? What? Archangels of Terror. The reign of terror is... Guys, guys, guys. I, uh... 
I kind of want to do this. I can bring back the guillotine. Yep, okay, I know what we're doing. So in the meantime, let's start, get socialist education, and then after that, go ahead and get the research slot. We're going to need to build ourselves up economically, and we will go ahead and get all that sorted. Let's see, mill factory-wise, I have a decent navy here from the start. And my friends, let's go ahead and begin. The Commune of France. The Third Republic ended the way that it began, defeated by German arms and facing socialist revolution at home. In November of 1919, a revolutionary general strike was called by the CGT, paralyzing the country and causing the downfall of the bourgeois government. The old order order was not strong enough to put an end to the unrest, and in subsequent months, the French establishment was forced out of the mainland by a coalition of leftist forces in a brief but brutal civil war. For the past 15 years, the self-stylized Commune of France has united behind a common platform of syndicalist socialist consensus, headed by the ruling Bourse General du Travail. However, by 1936, the consensus that was reached in order to rebuild the shattered country and defend the fruits of revolution from foreign menace is being deemed as increasingly outdated by many critics, and there are growing calls for more radical policies. France is increasingly confident in her security and her mission, but the French revolutionary tradition is disparate, and it is unclear precisely which ideological strands shall become dominant in the years to come. Me. I. I will become dominant in the years to come. Fall of Mosso Pivet. Up. Uh, okay. All right. Well, that is hap happening. Uh, head of government, gone. There goes all my stability. The return of the Jacobins. Led by the revolutionary hero Maurice Therese, a man who has now forsaken his former syndicalist loyalties and pledged allegiance to the international communist revolution, Therese has stated his conversion to what may be perceived as an obsolete ideology in direct response. Ah, because it's inspired by the direct, like the failure of Lenin, I see. Taking their name from the violent revolutionary movement under the leadership of Maximilien Robespierre, the Jacobins see themselves as a vanguard against anarchists and social reactionaries who are more than willing to use violence to spread the word of Marx. Yeah, he should be reminded of how Robespierre ended, except maybe not. Wait, election day one, clarifying the communal army. Hold up. So wait, depending on my politics, that's going to cho choose my military path too? Oh, damn it. All right. Well, let's see. I want the tanks. I do. I mean, okay. I, do, I guess I don't have to go down the path of speed because I believe I need to get to close with the Yakubin in charge. And that still is going to give me supply consumption. Okay. You know what? Fine. Yep. I'm realizing now that this is a syndicalist military policy, meaning I actually won't be able to do this here if I I want to go Jacobin. All right, fine. Election day two, the Rinsignments Genera. Due to its key purpose over external and internal security matters, the position of director of the Comité de Rinsignements, French name, is recognized as one of the keys to supreme power of the Commune of France, and it is crucial for the destruction of political rivals. It could be a terrible weapon in the hands of one of the more extremist factions like the Jacobins or the Cerulians, but I want the Jacobins. Yoink. Less stability. It's fine. It's fine. We're a communist society. We're not stable anyway. Oh, I forgot. I actually start with an agent. That is quite nice to have as France. Okay, that means we can probably start doing this from the very beginning. Internal security. Well, of course, we're going with the Jacobins again. A minister of terror. No terror. Friendship. Friendship is what it is. Economic affairs. Once again, Jacobin. That means more military factories, more totalism, and simultaneously more production that we're going to be getting here. Yes. With socialist education, that means I can go ahead and get another research slot. Because while some nations resist the teachings of science, France endorses them without nuance. Let's support the establishment of a new research institute aimed at furthering our technological superiority. Because that totally doesn't happen every single time that something happens with a communist society and they totally believe that crops can be grown right next to each other because crops of the same class won't compete. Yes. Now, foreign affairs? Uh, uh, yeah, world revolution seems to be nice. Yes. We're going with Jacobin hardlining is what we're doing. The results? A Jacobin majority. Perfect. The elections have finally put the Jacobins in power, permitting the return of Leninist values to lead the commune to the world revolution. An official statement has been provided by key Jacobin member, Maurice Therese, that reads, Dear comrades, listen to my words. The syndicalist structures are decaying, whilst the Sorlian reactionaries and anarchist filth are taking to the streets. However, now that the future of France is in our hands, there can be at last hope. The streets will be painted red with the blood of our foes, whilst the workers of the world can at last rejoice. Leninism is not dead. Germany bans the FOD. Oh, okay, wait, hold on. I could immediately declare war on Germany if I wanted to here, but, um, it's... Oh god, it's way too early to be able to do any of that. Uh, yeah, it's still too early to confront Germany. I'm not just gonna go and declare war, though it might be interesting to see a future gameplay to see what actually happens if you immediately go and declare war on Germany. Yes, Maurice Therese succeeds Sebastian Farr. Our stability is even lower, and hey, look at you. Look at you with your little square jaw, buddy. As for what is actually gonna happen, well, we'll see. A Jacobin Reformation. Having at long last taken control of the commune, the Jacobin-led Comte de Salut Public is in the position to be 
begin a complete conversion of the government system from failing syndicalism to glorious Leninism. Hardline comrades are demanding that the syndicalist structures be completely abolished, all replaced by the party communist Francais in a Leninist state. However, despite Chairman Thor's support for their initiative, this is likely to viciously divide France, and as such, may many more moderate party officials are suggesting that the Jacobins continue to operate within the established syndicalist structures. Um, but because I, I'm not working with anyone because I did pure Jacobin, that means... <laughs> no, no, we're we're crashing the system with no survivors. Yes, crashing the system with no survivors. Dissolution of the CGT. Oh God, no! Workers in arrest in Rhineland. We must help them. Uh, yeah, yeah. Also, a thousand man power. Sure. Anything we can do to screw over the Germans right now, we absolutely will. Following the CGT FO's recent electoral success in the BGT elections. So the question is then: Do we go with the extremists or do we go with the uh, the standards? Well, I mean, we're not. Uh, I don't think. I don't think we want the orthodox line here. Marxism, theorism, no, no. If we want Robespierre, that means Jacques Durand. Yes. That has succeeded, which in turn means Robespierre anew. During the original French Revolution back in 1789, there was one man guiding the torch of the proletariat to ensure that France could cast away her shackles and embrace actual change for the first time in her history. That man's name was Maximilien Robespierre, a Jacobin fully devoted to the idea of the revolution, a hero unfairly maligned by the subsequent regimes. We've not forgotten his deeds, and so the legacy of Robespierre shall be born anew with Chairman Durand. That means that millions are going to die. What do you mean unfairly maligned? If he, Okay, I'm covering the French Revolution on my history channel and the podcast. In fact, I'm actually doing a uh, like an eight-part series on the French Revolution within my Patreon. So if you want to check that out, if you want to hear me talk about it here with my wife, oh my god. The amount of stuff that this guy did. Leon Blum and the Front Populaire. No, bring them to trial. All of them will be executed. I do not care. I'm not even reading it. We're just going to execute them all. Syndicalism in Spain. Well, I would love to start overthrowing things down there. The chairman of the Comte de Salut Public takes the floor. Hey, there we go. Get myself some stability. Now, we're only slightly severely unstable. Unemployment and radicalism in Latin America? Yes, of course, we're going to nurture it. And we're going to try to help the United States. Ooh, actually, wait. If I could help the United States when civil war breaks out, that could be great for me. Participation of working women is necessary to achieve the worldwide revolution. Women and fighters send them back. <laughs> Ah, uh, ah, uh, listen, normally I would click the joke of send him back to the kitchen. Of course I would normally do this, but in this case, no, worldwide revolution. I don't care about stability. Why would that matter to me? Oh my God, all the events. Okay, hold on. What are we even processing? World economic crisis and the role of third international. It's an opportunity. Memories of the past revolution. We must do away with the idea of the far sorrel and other filth or fifth communists and realize the incredible and rich history of revolution revolt. France is undoubtedly a nation born out of revolution, a state that thrived thanks to, well, I mean, we're going to say thrived is a relative term here in this situation, but we're the French Revolutionary Republic. We're going to make friends with the Socialist Republic of Italy, and we're going to launch the legacy of the French Revolutionaries, because France has always been the vanguard of revolutionary figures, always been ready to break down the chains, binding the world within the confines of the old orders, except in the case of during the French Revolution, where they still supported slavery, but that's besides the whole thing. Robespierre, the titan of the Great Revolution. Louis-Antoine de saint Jean, the right hand of Robespierre, serving as the archangel of terror. Louis-Auguste Blanc, the creator of what would be later transformed into the concept of the vanguard party. Without these men, these French patriots through and through socialism as we know it today would never have existed while marx gave us our foundations he alone does not fit the character of our nation let us emulate our revolutionary ancestors and their unique concepts of french socialism so many people are going to die from what i'm doing the paris trials various leading figures of the front populaire as well as other prominent potential allies of theirs such as maurice gamelin have been arrested and are tried for treason the paris trial aims to prove that blum and associates have undermined the revolution and weakened france's defense against the german foe blum being both a lawyer and excellent public speaker has used the courtroom to make brilliant indictment of the Jacobin regime. Gamlin has remained silent throughout, refusing to recognize the court's right to try him. Call the whole thing off and increase stability or execute him. No, execute! Execute these traitors! I am destroying my country. I don't care! Guys, this is a hardline uh, role-playing game for communism. I'm just saying. I also just got an event about supporting a communist uprising in Indochina. Ah, oh, France... How the turns have tabled. With the People's Age of Enlightenment, that means we have a sixth research slot from the very beginning. Oh my god, we are so incredibly powerful here from the very get-go. And now it's time to launch terror. Our revolution is still in its infancy, and anti-revolutionary activity is increasing with each passing. With, 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 with okay, there's a little bit of a, gra a grammar error here. Before we can move forward, France must undergo a new reign of terror, administrated by inheritors of Louis-Antoine de saint Just's legacy. Rise the archangels of terror, ye bathed in the blood of enemies of France, one and indivisible. 
Oh no. So that killed 50,000 people. And then the immediate next step after that is to purge the syndicalists, the socialists, the social democrats, and the liberals as we, well, unite behind communism. I'm role playing this so hard. There's no economy. There's no anything. Why would we even care about that? No, it's just straight up totalitarian brutality. And now with 100% popularity support among the people, we are going to surge. In fact, at this point, I think that I have secured everything that I want, and my stability is gradually going up. Yes, this is going to boost it, but I really, at this point, I know, I know, role-playing, I understand, I need to focus on my economy. We have to actually do that. Bill Haywood, hold on, of the Socialist Party is elected as president. Hey, hey, okay, that could actually be great for me. Beautiful. More troops that we could potentially get in order to be able to send over to help them, the better. Synthetic research speed plus 20% for revolutionary synthetic oil? Oh my lord, that is great. Oh, right. Right. We need lots of that in order to be able to maintain anything. Right. In order to have any kind of air force or anything, I will actually need a supply of oil, which I, I don't have. So we are actually going to build that up. And amagement to territory. Okay, we're getting even more construction speed. We have what? 10% from here? 10% from here? Plus... Any other bonuses we get, meaning we are producing things rapidly. Report from the MMIC. Okay, Chinese Revolution. All right, everything in the East is going to uh, kind of shit here. But, spots, the socialists might be doing something then. Pro-syndicalist victory in the Vermont. Uh, mm, it's too risky. Try to gain influence. Let's do it. You'll obey me. Agent captured. No, 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 no. We can't have that happen. I am trying to save things here. And the second Amer American Civil War breaks out. Okay, that is happening. Oh my god, 10% more construction. Construction speed. That means 10% here, 10%. We're going to have plus 30% to all construction speed. Are you kidding me? That is incredibly powerful. And then wait, hold up. Oh, no, 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 no. Britain, what are you, are you losing to a war over here? Against, what happened? I do not like that at all. Uh-uh. Can I send volunteers? No, I can't. No, we are allied. Okay, wait, no, hold on. I could send, I could just straight up join the war with them here. No? Why would you not join? They have internal, no, they're collapsing. They're collapsing. I'm going to be on my own. No, <laughs> Scotland won its independence. <laughs> Ah, oh, great. The one game. The one game in which I am playing as a major communist power and my one major communist ally decides to abandon me. That's... I love it. Well, America, how about you? Can I send stuff to you? I'm gonna send an attache, of course, naturally. We can send the tank divisions. In fact, actually, what even does this have? It's just basically light tanks with some trucks here. Actually, that's not very good at all. So here, we're gonna send you over. Beautiful. And then hopefully, these units will then be able to do something. At least from the very get-go. That means I'm actually able to do something from this side, which is kind of fascinating. Next up on here discovering electricity and how that works wait come on tanks get in here as quick as you can all right are we actually gonna be able to break through i don't know if we are but we need to try and grind this out as quick as we possibly can and there's the spanish civil war okay well spain is important but honestly i'd prefer to uh, secure america over on this side no, virtue in emancipation. There it is. Increase construction speed by further, plus it helps with production. We will free the world, whether they like it or not. White terror in Switzerland. I can now demand hot stuff. <laughs> oh, is that going to be an option? Something I, can, uh, uh, something I can do? Oh, I can also supply weapons over here. Actually, that would be something that would be great here to do as well. But for that, I would need to stop building up my own troops. Okay, you know what? I don't need nearly as many of these here, I think. Oh, we are trying to break through. We are taking some damage, but we are... We're, we're going to probably succeed, maybe. Actually, that's, we're going to need to resupply that here for a little bit. In fact, actually, I'm going to focus on wiping these guys out quick so that I can replenish my forces. There you go. Wipe all those troops out on the side. Yep, I don't care if you're wounded. This is something that's going to help me. Why is New York independent? What the hell? Well, either way, that should allow you to relocate a couple of your troops, which is good for us. And after virtue and emancipation, we get the new worker. The workers who were always slaves shall never be ones again. For in our righteous crusade against any anti-socialist elements, we have reshaped their mentality. The love of labor. France and the chairman have replaced any base desires for lust for money. Yeah, no, we just, we love to work, damn it. God damn, that's the most American thing I think I've ever seen. Also, wait, what is this? Reinforcements blocked, no supply from, how? How? I sh I've, I've sent you things here. What, do, can I get military access? Will that allow you to reset? There we go, that's what it was. Belgium asked to join the, of course you can join. Thank you, Belgium, welcome in. The Russian Soviet Federative Republic, wait, did, did Russia go commie? Did Russia go commie? Ah, yes. Yes, they did. Now the guillotine's ceaseless presence. An amusing tale, the instrument of revolutionary justice and the method of execution that outlasted both the Great Revolution and the failed kingdoms and republics that followed it, all named after a man who opposed the death penalty and wasn't even the inventor of the device. Dr. Yosef Ignaz Guillotine merely suggested the use of what came to be known as the guillotine due to the humanitarian concerns, for it was to be a more painless and less brutal method. So too shall our justice be, for we are not mindless barbarians thriving on our citizens' blood. The guillotine of today shall be more 
preventative, reminding every reactionary and enemy of France what awaits them if they dare to raise their hand against the people. It gets cut off. And let's see if I continue down the political side here. That's just going to give me more uh, more goals here to try and annex things. But I don't really need any of this just yet. I still have to build up my country. To that end, now it is time for the road to war. Because now, for 230 days, I should be able to start building up my country and my economy. That should be some big bonuses. Now I have the opportunity to demand hot savoir. Let's do it. Come on, little buddies. I know that you can break in here eventually. Come on, I believe in you. Is that the fall of... Oh, that was the fall of Washington. All right, now I should be able to push through here. Hey, with that, that means that the socialists have secured this side, which means we can start sweeping in through the south, I'm sure. In fact, I have to get down here in order to be able to protect the ports. Geneva and the Swiss French. The bourgeois Swiss government has shown its true face and toppled the democratically elected socialist councils in Geneva, the Seine, and the other French-speaking cantons. If that were not enough, now too, they beat uh, they beat and bloody Frenchmen on our own soil in Savoie. Our agents have reported numerous atrocities against armed workers and civilians as the Swiss Federal Army has implemented martial law. Well, we're going to demand it from them. How do you respond? By accepting. Good. Could I press them for even greater concessions, though? The Swiss give in! <laughs> After we properly informed the Swiss that their proposal to cede Hot Savoie was not in our best interest. They have further shown their weakness and aversion to conflict by agreeing to our proposals of instituting reforms in the nation to protect the rights of syndicalists in the nation. No doubt these reforms will lead to the eventual supremacy of syndicalism in the nation, and the Swiss will surely drift into our own sphere of influence. Ah, uh, yes. 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 Switzerland becomes a puppet. Beautiful! <laughs> oh my god, we are quite strong. Which is now, can I break across? I can, yes! Okay, we're gonna use this to try and isolate as many of these units as we can. Here we go, there's a group of units caught, and all these are gonna be destroyed. I am loving France so far. This is actually a remarkably fun playthrough so far. You can do a lot more as them than you can in pretty much anything else that I have played. Now if I can just zoom on in through here, I'll be able to isolate and destroy several of their divisions. At least I hope that will be the case. I don't think they're actually gonna make it. It's calibrating the economy. The capitalist world is still struggling. We get even less consumer goods. Are you kidding me? How strong are we going to get? Here we go, another two divisions trapped, and we can steadily move along the coast and stretch their lines out super thin. There we go, there's three more trapped, or two more. Yep, wipe those out. Beautiful. And that is much of the south seized. Excellent, beautiful. All right, we group all these together. Costa Rica has capit- Wait, hold on, What? what is this? The Blacks- Oh, hey, hold up, hold up. What is this, a revolt? The Black Socialist Republic, which are totalists. <laughs> oh my God, wait a minute. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. They're totalists versus- just the syndicalist. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I may want to send them my support instead with Black Legion terrorists. <laughs> oh my god. Are they a puppet of anyone? No, they're just at war. They're just an independent state. How? And with that, that's the collapse of Atlanta. So now we have the Black Socialist Republic. <laughs> Oh, oh, that's honestly that, that's kind of hilarious, and that's still the bees. Honestly, that, this is this is an America path that we may want to consider trying to go down. You know, and, and end racism. But this individual looks like he's more likely to eat me. You know, I love popular uprisings, and speaking of popular uprisings, let's um let's hurt our foes. And this is oh oh god, what is this? D do hold up, hold up. Nope, 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 nope. American Union states. I don't appreciate that. I don't appreciate you trying to go here and take over all this other territory. Because now I have to go and help. Still, this is actually pretty good because even with the North falling, this still means that we were able to save off one entire side of this front. Here you go, come on, come on. We can just push on through. Push on through. There we go. Surround as many of their divisions as we can. If we wipe these out, that means they'll have less to fight. It is a brutal fight here, and the syndicalists are actually losing some ground. But with me now making it up here, that shouldn't be a problem. Nope. Okay. That is, yeah, we're not we're not making that. Okay. Time to push back a little bit. Restructure. We still need as many supplies as we can possibly get from this, which we're not exactly getting from this spot. Ah, uh, I cannot push to Chicago to get supplies, so maybe we're going to need to go to Indianapolis. Wales in the inner... Of course, Wales. Welcome in. Sure. All <laughs> you join? Why not? There we go. Indianapolis seized. More forces cut off, and that means more supply for us. If we can just push on down through, means eventually we might be able to break through. No, we're not doing it here. The Russian Soviet Federative Socialist Republic wants to join. Well, of course. Of course you can. Let's see. After all this is done, I can go and demand. No, wait, no, I cannot, because not 1939. All right, let's see. What else can I do? Probably prepare the military then. Let's get that done. There we go. There's Chicago taken, which means all these forces now completely wiped out. Excellent. We are now sweeping across this area. Area. There we go. Oh my god, that is a huge pile surrounded. Beautiful. Now the unfortunate thing is that as France, uh, I kind of forgot to build up a uh, an air force this entire time, which is not great for me, but I will do better. And since I haven't worked on an air force at all, I need to get ahead of time as quickly as I can because Lord knows I'm going to be pretty far behind. There we go. Another group surrounded. Keep on, keep on going, keep on killing. Let's see. Demand Alsace Lorraine. No, I cannot do it until June, which means we have very little time left. 
New York has joined the Entente. Uh, no, I don't think I like that. After fortifying the German border, that means I can then extend the line and build up my defenses further. There we go, another group. What? Wait, no, no, hold on. How did you? How did you flee into here? They're not at. They're not at war with any of these. How does that make any sense? What do you mean? How are you able to get access to the Black Socialist Republic? Well, we can finally demand Alsace Lorraine, but I, Lord knows, I am not actually prepared for this. We're gonna need to get this ready. Probably half a year. I don't even have an air force built up. Vertical. What do you mean? I got helicopter. <laughs> when did I get helicopters? How was that a thing? In 1930, I'm not doing anything. Called arms of the... R Russia. Russia. What are you doing? You're at war on this side, aren't you? Why are you attacking Buryat Mongolia? Come on. Wait, a called arms from the Black Socialist... What do you mean the Black Socialist Republic? What? Did you just join the Third International? Did you join me? You did, and you declared war on Panama. Why would you declare war on Panama? Why? Why is the Black Socialist Republic going after Panama? What did they do to you? Finally, I finally... I finally got aircraft. Yeah, I probably should have done that way earlier. I didn't realize how quickly this would, uh, this would actually come. My fault, definitely. Definitely my fault here. Now I'm pretty far behind. I actually have to wait before I can go after Germany. But I get helicopters. <laughs> what? <laughs> how can I? So I can create helicopters as Cass? Yakusha seeks for recognition. Um, who, wait, what? Recognize them will definitely worsen our relation with Russia. Uh, no, 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 no. We're, we're now friends with you, Russia. I'm not going to do that to you, buddy. Black Socialist Republic has declared war on Liberia. <laughs> Buddy, 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 what are you doing? Why are you such a warmonger, you scary individual? And now for the Grand Army Reform, I think this is going to be the final thing. No, we're going to do that and the ultimatum to get some extra attack and defense before it is that we go and attack. I'd say three more focuses, and then we're going to be set. German Empire plans maneuvers announce our own maneuvers. Yes, yes. They're not going to do shit to us. Maneuvers in French comps. German saber rattling and an ever worsening situation in Lorraine have convinced the Comte de Salut public to give in to the general size request for a wide scale military exercise, which shelling of Laval or shelling of Breton. Okay, wait, something, someone is getting bombed. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, that's happening then. Wait, and the Kingdom of Sardinia declares war on the... Wait, isn't that my puppet? That's my puppet. That is my puppet down here, damn it. You little shit, you're in that alliance. Wait, Bulgarian ties. Interestingly, following their syndicalist takeover, a Bulgarian Socialist Republic has decided to approach us and attempt to foster relations between our two nations. And as a result, help open up a dialogue and deepen ties. It's clear that they remain politically isolated in the Balkans due to their support of syndicalism and that they need allies in the future. Naturally... Yes. There we go. There's a big group caught. Yes, we are taking the entire Midwest. Now, that way, once I actually go to war, it shouldn't prove to be a major problem. Even though it's February 1940 and we are waiting way too long, probably. Still, it's okay. I don't care. I'm turning America red. And that's, it's not just blood, but they're... There is a lot of blood. The Sultanate of Egypt has declared war on the Germans. Why? Why? And who are you allied with? You're the Cairo Axe. Why would you do that? Genuinely. Ge genuinely, why? Even the Black Socialist Republic is declaring war on the Union State. Ah, oh, Huey Long. How does it feel to be betrayed? Wait, Canada! No! No, Canada! 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 You did not just declare war! Why? Why would you do this? I was helping them, damn it! Oh, oh, that is frustrating. Quick, I better try to wipe out as many of these guys here as I can. Dorian declares the Great Revolution finished. Jacques Doyle, the man just at the beginning of his grand road to the pages of history to be among the heroes of the French revolutionarianism, has accomplished so much in so little time. Once again, making an official statement during a rally held in the Place de Revolution, Chairman Doyle has declared that the work started by Robespierre and Jacobin Club, continued thus by the Parisian communards, has come to an end. The Great Revolution and its project were realized within the French Revolutionary Republic, and the notion and the people can now fully enjoy a purified form of socialism, one free of the taint that is anti-France. With the ideas of liberty, virtue, and reason, and the moral deeds of the ancestor revolutionaries, the French workers shall go to this new world. Oh my god. Shall go into this new world, ready to face the new coalition, just like the ones the First Republic had to go up against. Which means I now could get war goals on literally everything if I wanted to. Okay, well, you know, I think it's finally time to have some fun. The French people shall wait no longer. The time has come for Germany to return the whole of Alsace Lorraine or face the ultimate consequence. Should they refuse, we will bring into them a war of brutality and fierceness that will send their pawns running straight back to Berlin. We will avenge our fallen brothers. Even as Canada had to go up here and pull this shit. And the Black Socialist Republic to Clip we're on Cuba. <laughs> Why? For what reason? Make it make sense. I'm begging you. And the second Russo. No. 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 Please. Please. Why? Why? I was just trying to finish off this one war. The Alsace ultimatum. After months of low intensity skirmishes and diplomatic gameplay on the German border, the two behemoths are poised at the edge of a conflict. All right. Now, what are they going to do? Will Germany fold? What is going to happen? Germans refuse. What better time than now? <laughs> yes. As soon as we lost our ally. Yeah. That's, that's, 
brilliant, and I'm I'm unfortunately going to have to have my tanks withdraw from America. Hopefully, they're sufficiently distracted. And in the meantime, let's have some fun then, shall we? They refuse, so now take down Germany. That's going to bypass. Around Ludendorff, gain annex war goal in the Netherlands. Oh, are we going to reverse this? Are we going to reverse this stuff? Or it is then. Here it is, the second Will Krieg. Let's do this. Russia, come and join me. And the Entente is moving to reclaim Europe. Uh, yeah, I'm about to probably lose a whole bunch of stuff here, I'm sure. Hopefully, the syndicalists can hold here for as long as possible in order to distract so that maybe, maybe I can go against Canada. And the Italian Civil War resumes. Everything is about to go to shit down there. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having some fun with oh my god no they're about to lose this side okay that's not what i want okay first things first we got to go down here and finish off things in the south oh ho, 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 ho. oh i'm glad we invested in a superior air force yeah we are absolutely murdering them beautiful let's just go ahead and wait and try and bleed them out as much as possible in the meantime let's focus on taking uh italy out here in the south really a naval invasion you're launching a naval invasion on me. Why would you do that right now? Just bring everyone in, please. Just call them all in. I'm, I'm tired of hitting these damn buttons. And now the Germans and the Japanese have declared war on Russia, as well as Germany. Ah, uh, that's a risky plan, Cotton. Let's see how that plays out. Bold move. Wait, no, this quote is bold move. Haiti asked to join the international. Yes, of course you can. Haiti, welcome into the party. Get it? Like, like communist party, but also party because it's a party. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna shut up now. The American Union. Hey, the American Union state. Beautiful. Wait, hold on. They're done. Can't do anything on that side anyway. But with them having collapsed, that is perfect because that's going to just only strengthen the syndicalist. Please. Ha! And there goes Italy. Okay, perfect. That is one side now clear. That means I can focus on the south. Austria intervenes. No, 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 no. Please, Austria. You're not going to intervene in the Well Creek. No, no. Shit. Okay, come on. I could have at least been fighting against Germany here on this side. Now I can't even do that. Oh, God damn it. I didn't even realize I'd been able invaded here. Okay, that's a bit of a problem. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the warning of that. I appreciate it. Okay, all right, that's that's not working. I quite literally cannot break down through any of that because it's just so incredibly crowded through the mountains. All right, that's not working. All right, that means all we gotta do now at this point is start gradually moving our way in. Perfect, and we can keep on crushing them piece by piece. Just rip in through. There's no way they could actually sustain this. As long as we hold... Oh, great crap, that's actually a little bit of a problem over on this side. Ah, yep, I don't like that. Okay, yep, we're gonna have you try and hold back. We're gonna pull back over on that side. And the rest of you, I really need to push and launch some attacks, please. Okay, what about things on this side here? Okay, the syndicalists are doing just fine over here on this side. The fall of Bigros. What is happening down here? Oh, hey, Ukrainian state. Wow. All right, that is something. Hopefully, Bulgarians can hold down on this side, because I, Lord knows, I do not know what's going to happen over here. Ho, <laughs> do you have 40? Why do you have 42 divisions down here, man? Why? Why? Why would you do that? Can I break through on any of these sides? Can I? Can I? Militarist revolts in Paraguay. I don't even... Oh, oh boy. They are attacking all up and down the line. Oh my god, no, Bulgaria! Bulgaria, no! Why? Please, survive! I'm begging you! Come on, push through, push through, keep on going, keep on going. They can't hold us here forever. <laughs> oh, that's multiple encirclements. Yes, keep on holding the line. Oh my god, there's so many divisions. There's so many divisions, but if they just keep on throwing themselves at me, maybe I can... Wait a minute, hold on, I already took that. Hey! Okay, yes! Attack! Murder! Kill. Destroy. That is like a good 50 divisions that are trapped down here in the south. Oh my god, that is so many. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they won't be able to hold the line here after this, I think. Now, the biggest problem that I still face is that uh, we have a whole bunch of troops down here in the south. So many that I can barely see what is going on. Okay, there we go. That's a whole bunch of them trapped. That is also all their mountain fortresses, which means as soon as we push through this, we should be able to push right into the heartland. That is beautiful, my friends. That is absolutely beautiful. I didn't even have to go around. But you know what? You know what? We're going to do it. We're going to do it anyway. We're going to go around it. We're going to take out the Netherlands, and then we're going to sweep in here from the north. We're going to go ahead and launch a push, and then as soon as we do this, that means I should very quickly be able to overwhelm and then extend the line here as rapidly as possible. I do that, and I can immediately start pushing. The bar side cut. Wait a minute. Hey, India, thank you for joining. Much appreciated. You know, the Ottoman Empire, for whatever reason, is going against me, as well as Greece and, oh, Bulgaria. Bulgaria, you are desperately, you are desperately holding out here in the south, trying to maintain this as well as you can. <laughs> thank you, buddy. The fall of Berlin. And I know, I know that I had a collaboration government on them. How are they not? Oh, wait, no, wait, there goes. There goes the Reichsbacht. Yep, just got that event. Okay, yep, 
That is gonna create a massive peace deal. That's annoying. But either way, there goes the German Empire. And that, my friends, is the fall of Germany. Peace in our time. Except we're totally not at peace here, actually. We're still at war. So to that end, now it's time to finally push the fall of Germany. That is done. It's the end of an era. We have done it. And Kaiser Wilhelm II is dead. He just couldn't take the loss. He couldn't take it. I mean, honestly, if I was defeated by a bunch of uh, commie French people, then I I definitely would have just died too. Now to decide what to do with Germany. Hmm, declare a new German Union. Declare a new German, German Union, but split off the Rhineland. Hmm. We're going to occupy the Rhineland, and we're going to break up the rest of Germany. Yeah, that seems fine. The fate of Ireland. Ah, <laughs> this one actually has different. This has a different thing. Uh, unlike the British, we do not fear a few potato farmers. Yeah, now we're going to give them independence naturally. At least Prussia is a puppet. Iceland. Yes, Iceland is a puppet. Yes, that's fine. Wait, did Egypt just declare war on me? No. Who did? Who just declared war on me? Someone declared war on me. Not that I can tell literally anything that's going on with the scope of this map. Oh my god, it's becoming more cursed. Oh, we're so close. We're so close. Vienna. Vienna, die. Wait, no. My game just crashed. No. Also, wait, I'm realizing that my entire green screen here is fucked. Maybe it's a good thing it crashed. And there goes the Austrian Empire. Okay, we're back. We're back with it. With that, the entirety of it is mine. Yoink. And that allows us to start liberating and freeing everyone around us. And beautiful. Doesn't that coloration look so much nicer? Yes, with all of my nice socialist puppet states. Oh no, no, combined syndicates of America, what are you doing? Why? Why would you do this? Why would you fail? You better not collapse on me, damn it. Wait, I'm gonna come in the French Revolution War as an ally in the United Mexican States French War. United Mexican States. What? Am I at war with Mexico? Why am I at war with Mexico? Why was Switzerland at war with Mexico? Make it make sense. All right, well, at least we managed to get some troops over here onto this side here to North Africa. And from there, we can invade more. Wait, what did I just. Oh, I beat two Sicilies. Okay. Italy almost united, I guess. Um, I guess let's. Take out the Ottomans then. Collapse of the Portuguese Empire. Yes, that's beautiful. Fall of Algiers. With that, hopefully France will capac- Uh, capac- c c I, I hope they disappear. That's what I'm trying to say. And the French national state collapses. Beautiful. With them gone, that means I can seize the entirety of all this. That's nice. And now I- Oh god, there's still so many enemies up here. Okay. Um, I don't want to have to deal with any of this crap. Fuck it. I'm gonna see if I can send them across the ocean. And if they die by submarines, then- so be it. Because America apparently is not going to save itself. Now maybe, maybe we can actually push in. Even more, Oh god, the syndicate is collapsing. Please, no. New England, yes, follow Boston. Yes, push in, push in. The more of these that we can take out, the better. That's going to free up one of these sides. Yep, with the collapse of New York, that is beautiful. That means we're going to be able to wipe out all these troops and simultaneously be able to move in on Canada. Hopefully, if that knocks out a lot of New England's force... Oh god, nope, nope, there come the Pacific states. Okay, but Canada's defense is entirely collapsed. They have no way to actually control any of this, meaning we can steadily move in here. There we go, there's Canada cleared out of this side, and now I just have to fight my way across the entirety of Canada in the frickin' mountains and cold. I'm currently sitting here, my garage. It is quite literally nine degrees outside Fahrenheit, and I'm loving it. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Oh my god, finally. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hated that. I hated that. I hated that. I hated that. <laughs> Ah, that's just, it's gonna send me back. Oh, it's gonna send me back. I, oh, no, no, I'm not doing it. It's like the game can't handle it anymore from all the peace deals and everything that's breaking out. That was, that was the final victory. That was, that was it. My friends, the game unfortunately can't handle the idea of French and commies winning. Like that, it, like either one on its own is bad, but when it's combined, the game just can't handle it. I'm gonna go ahead and end things here today because, <sighs> I don't know what else to do. I'm freezing in my garage. I am shaking so bad. My hands are ice right now, but I have so many more things I have to make before I leave. My friends, thank you very much for watching. This has been Stuck with another Hearts of Iron 4 playthrough for my Kaiser Redux A to Z. If you all could like the video, comment, subscribe, do anything you can to help me in the algorithm, I would greatly appreciate it. For now, I have to go turn my limbs into not ice blocks. Thanks, guys. Goodbye.